In this online lecture, we're going to talk about how substituents affect the acidity or pKa of benzene molecules. And what we're going to learn here, key point number one, is that electron withdrawing groups on benzene make alcohol and carboxylic acid groups more acidic. We're also going to see that number two, electron donating groups on benzene make alcohol and carboxylic acid groups, the opposite, less acidic. We're also going to see here number three, electron withdrawing groups on benzene make amino groups less basic and the opposite, number four, electron donating groups on benzene make amino groups more basic. It's very important that these are at your fingertip on your next orgo exam. However, you should have an understanding of why these are true, not just blindly memorize them. And it's very easy to understand why. So let's talk about that here. Remember, if you have, let's say, this molecule right here, and you react a base with it, remember alcohols can behave as acids, which means the base is going to rip off this hydrogen right here, and we're going to end up with this right here, the conjugate base. And remember, we talked about in a previous online lecture that when it comes to measuring how strong an acid might be, it depends more on how relatively stable its conjugate base is. Remember, after this reaction, we're going to develop a negative formal charge on this oxygen. So the strength of the original molecule as an acid depends on how well the conjugate base can stabilize that negative charge. So let's talk about how substituents might be able to do that. And let's be generic here. Let's say we have a substituent right here on our benzene ring. And let's say he happens to be an electron withdrawing group overall. That means, remember, he pulls electrons away from the benzene ring. Think about what that might do to the negative charge here. If we're pulling electrons away, we're spreading them out and making this negative charge less negative. That would lower the energy of this molecule and therefore stabilize the conjugate base. And remember, stabilizing the conjugate base means that it's going to be more acidic, which means electron withdrawing groups on benzene increase the acidity of alcohol groups. So remember, we're going to remember that as a truth, but we're also going to know why it's true. Let's look at the opposite case here. What if your substituent happens to be an electron donating group? Then remember, he overall donates electrons to the benzene ring. And what do you think your intuition would say about this negative charge? Well, think about it. Adding electrons to that negative charge makes him even more negative. More negative, again, means higher energy. Therefore, that would destabilize the conjugate base. Hence, our second key point here. Electron donating groups on benzene decrease the acidity of alcohol groups. Now, think about what this means in the big picture. Remember, we saw in a previous online lecture a chart of our most often used substituents on benzene. Remember, there was three groups. This group right here, the ortho pair directing activators, are overall electron donating groups. So these groups would make alcohols on a benzene ring more acidic. Whereas if you remember the second group here, the ortho para deactivators are overall electron withdrawing. So they'll make an OH on a benzene ring less acidic. And that's also true for the third group, the meta directing deactivators. They're overall electron withdrawing. So take a look at this right here. This should make sense then. This molecule right here has a pKa of 10.2. Notice he has an OH group, but he also has the OCH3 group, which happens to be an overall electron donator. Comparing him to this molecule right here, notice the molecule on the right has a lower pKa because Cl is an overall electron withdrawing group, making it more acidic and therefore having a lower pKa. And notice what happens when we put an even stronger electron withdrawing group on benzene, in this case NO2 the pKa drops even more now to 7.14, making the molecule on the right the most acidic out of the three. Now, I'd like for you to also know that what we talked about is the same for carboxylic acids on a benzene ring. Remember, when a carboxylic acid, COOH, 
donates a proton, he's left over as COO minus. So again, an electron withdrawing group will pull those electrons away and spread them out further. So we get the same result, and that is electron withdrawing groups on benzene increase the acidity of carboxylic acid groups. And of course, just like we saw in alcohols, the opposite is true. Electron donating groups donate electrons to the ring, and EDGs on benzene decrease the acidity of carboxylic acid groups. In fact, just to prove that to you here, here are the actual pKa values of various molecules. This would be the pKa of this molecule right here, and notice putting that electron withdrawing Br group on the ring lowers the pKa, therefore making it more acidic. And again, putting one of the most strongest electron withdrawing groups lowers the pKa to 3.44, making this molecule the most acidic out of the three. Now, up to this point, we've been talking acidity, but what about basicity? Let's remind ourselves what it means to be basic. If we take this molecule right here and add an acid, such as HA, then remember the acid is going to donate a proton to these electrons right here. Or in other words, drawing it out, the electrons are donated to this H+. That's going to give us this result right here, NH3+. Now remember, it takes that lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen to be able to be donated to the H plus in order to act as a base. So how basic you are simply depends on how available those lone pair electrons are going to be. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's take our molecule right here and let's put a substituent on the benzene ring. And let's say this substituent happens to be an electron withdrawing group. If he's going to pull electrons away, then think about what that would do to these lone pair electrons. It would pull them down towards the benzene ring and simply make them less available. And less available to be protonated means it makes the molecule overall less basic. So there is our key point here. Electron withdrawing groups on benzene decrease the basicity of amino groups on a benzene ring. Notice a slight difference here. When it comes to measuring acidity, we focus on the conjugate base of the acid. But when it comes to measuring basicity, we simply just focus on the original basic molecule. So let me make the next point here. What if your substituent happens to be an overall electron donating group? Then again, how does that affect the electrons on this nitrogen? Well, pushing the electrons up towards it makes these electrons, of course, more available now. And more available means more easily protonated. So therefore, electron donating groups on benzene increase the basicity of amino groups. Now, all four of these key points, again, should be at your fingertips, but let me show you how they can make this a little bit harder. For instance, this sample problem is saying which molecule is more acidic. And notice both of them have an OH and both of them have an NO2 group. Which means at this point, it looks like they should both be equally acidic. They both have very strong electron withdrawing groups. But the point that I want to make here is that the position of the electron donating or withdrawing group has an affect on basicity and acidity as well. And let me show you what I mean by that. Let's look at the molecule on the left first here. Remember, if he acts as an acid, we know that he's going to donate that H. And when he donates it, what's left behind the conjugate base here would be O minus. Now, our analysis here involves resonance structures. So let me show you that. Remember, one move we could make here is we can say the electrons on the O fall down here between these two atoms, and these electrons in the pi bond jump up on one of these carbons right here. That gives us this resulting resonance structure. And again, we can keep that move going by saying these electrons jump this way, and these pi electrons now jump on this carbon. We end up now with this resonance structure. Now notice, this is key here. The lone pair electrons, notice, are sitting on top of the carbon that bears the substituent, in this case, NO2. And let's do this. Let's expand out our NO2. This is his actual Lewis dot structure. 
Now that the electrons are at this carbon here, we could then say that they fall down this way between the carbon and the nitrogen, which causes these pi electrons to jump up on the oxygen. And look at the direction that these electrons are going towards the substituent. Remember, NO2 is a very strong electron withdrawing group. So this resonance move is very likely to form. And notice, key point here, this enables us to draw an additional resonance structure. Which means, remember, the more resonance structures you can draw, the more stable the species is. So, in summary, having an electron withdrawing group, either ortho or para, to the OH in a benzene ring, makes the OH even more acidic. Remember, if you look back, the lone pair electrons not only landed on the para position, but they also landed in the ortho position to the original OH substituent. To make sure you got this, watch what happens here. Let's do the same analysis with the molecule on the right. Again, we're going to have him behave as an acid, which means he donates his proton, and this is the resulting conjugate base. And drawing our resonance, we say the electrons fall down this way, and the lone pair electrons right here end up on the ortho carbon to the OH. When we go to draw the next resonance structure, the electrons fall down here, and the pi electrons jump up on the carbon that's para to the original OH, giving us this resonance structure. Notice what happens here. The lone pair electrons never end up on this carbon, the one meta to the OH. Which means we're not going to be able to get that extra resonance structure. So that means, going back to our problem here, it is the left-hand molecule that's going to be more acidic. So again here, the position of the electron withdrawing or donating group can also affect how acidic a molecule can be. So, what have we learned here? Key points. Number one, again, we saw electron withdrawing groups on benzene make alcohol and carboxylic acid groups more acidic. We also saw number two, electron donating groups on benzene make alcohol and carboxylic acid groups less acidic. We also saw three, electron withdrawing groups on benzene make amino groups less basic. And number four, electron donating groups on benzene make amino groups more basic.